morning students welcome back to online language class as i was discussing last day about comprehension about understanding comprehension today again i will be continuing with the same topic that is comprehension so uh, comprehension what is comprehension how to deal yourself with comprehension more or less you all have been taught from your lower classes so uh, now you are already in class 8 you have a much understanding of what is comprehension and how to uh, go through the comprehension and how to uh, summarize the total um, meaning of the comprehension in simple easy words in your own language okay so just few lines from my side to you all to understand what is a comprehension is for your better understanding of comprehension i would like to say few words those are that comprehension is nothing but students but the understanding and interpretation of what you read okay and to understand the written material accurately you have to decode the first thing the first task that you have to do is that you have to decode what you are reading what you have read in the comprehension that you have to decode then after that you have to make uh, connections okay you have to connect between what you read and what what knowledge what prior knowledge you already have and the third is that you have to ponder deeply that what you have read you have to give a deep thought that uh, what you have read already so that this is the three basic things first one as i have already told that you have to decode what you have read next you have to connect with what you have read and your prior knowledge and your previous knowledge and the third thing is that you have to think you have uh, very deeply you have to give a very uh, you, you you should be having a, a, a thought which is very deep uh, which is having a very deep in nature and uh, this are three basic things that you have to deal with when you are sitting to uh, sitting for writing a comprehension okay now this are the th uh, apart from this thing students um, when you are reading while you are reading comprehension no you have to uh, uh, you have to activate your uh, brain power and you have to activate your background knowledge knowledge of what you are having uh, your pre notion okay pre notion of any matter that you are reading in the uh, in the topic of comprehension okay now next comes your questioning you have to question yourself more on every now and then while you are reading while you are reading the uh, topic of the comprehension then you have to visualize then you have to see in front of you while you are reading no you have to you need to have a very crystal clear visualization about what you are reading about the topic of the comprehension about the matter of the comprehension visualization is very much needed students otherwise if you just read the lines and you are not having a uh, total understanding of what the topic of the uh, uh, comprehension is it's very much sure students that when you will start writing for the question answers you will not not be able to write anything well, only thing that you will be able to do is that you have to uh, just you have to copy the exact lines of the comprehension on your answer script and you will finish uh, and you will finish your work of uh, in the exam hall okay but that not the actual rule rule of uh, solving a comprehension as i was al already discussing with you all in the last day comprehension means your total understanding of the text portion okay now if you are having a thorough understanding of the text portion it doesn't it it will never come on your path that you have to copy back the exact lines of the topic but you have to write the a uh, portion of the topic by bracketing it in your own language in your own language in your own simple words with your own vocabulary so vocabulary is a very important part in comprehension understanding the more you have a strong power of vocabulary the more you are a uh, master in solving a comprehension okay now the next thing which comes after visualization of the topic of comprehension is your summarizing you have to summarize the total matter after after you finish uh, reading the last line of the comprehension your here comes your task of summarizing what what you have read in the whole uh, in the whole passage 
okay so these are the things that you have to keep in your mind and the one more thing students that reading comprehension always will involve three levels of understanding okay first level of understanding will be your literal meaning then comes your inferential meaning then comes your evaluative meaning okay now these are the very important things and this uh, if you don't uh, cross one after the other level of understanding uh, the comprehension the total comprehension will fall down okay yeah uh, if if that is the thing that if you if uh, this is the thing that if you keep in your mind while you are sitting for writing a comprehension you will be very successful in writing a comprehension and i as i was telling you that few word meanings will be coming for you all for which the exact maybe the word uh maybe the uh, word which has been asked you all to write down the meaning maybe the word you have read for the first time while solving the comprehension then that time you don't get nervous you don't get uh, alarmed that what i will do i will, i have to read the question i have to i will be uh, wasting one mark no nothing like that students the only thing that you have to do is that um you just read the comprehension you try to understand the meaning and try to frame the answer of the word meaning in uh, one or two uh, in one or two words it is not it is not always a compulsion that you have to uh bring out the meaning of the word in only another single word it's not that like that any comprehension is there or you in two three words you can frame out the meaning of the word uh, frame out the meaning of the word okay then after that there will be question answers followed in the in, after the passage and as you are reading the questions the, the very clear picture of the comprehension should be within your mind okay it is not like that after reading the um question again you will uh, start bracketing the portion of the comprehension and you will just copy back the portion of on the question paper on your answer script it gives a very bad impression on the mind of the teacher i tell you students okay so always try to show your own productivity your own skill power your own uh, what to say your own inherent potential in solving the comprehension because the more you are sure about understanding the comprehension the more you are fluent in writing the total summation of the comprehension in your own words the more good reflection you give about yourself in the mind of the teacher okay so uh, and students um, there are very, uh, many uh, students like unlike you all that those who very much get distracted while reading comprehension they don't uh, they think that they get bothered while reading a comprehension and they find it totally uneasy uh, for themselves while reading a comprehension so for them a few suggestions from my side is that students you have to find out few books of your own choice okay from those books you find out any passage and you start reading the passage and while you are reading the passage make sure that you are reading it aloud okay and always try to spin the headings of the text because if you don't do it it becomes very problematic for you to answer the question answers afterwards okay and uh, if you think that you are getting distracted while reading that big passage use a big uh, scale okay use a ruler use a scale and uh, try to solve it because maybe one line or the next line you may miss in between okay and uh, as i was telling you students vocabulary plays a very vital role master yourself in vocabulary and um uh, if word recognition is difficult no students you will find too much of their processing capacity okay there are many reading strategies as i was telling you you have to understand that and you have to correlate with actual event and narration of events and you have to practice deep reading until unless you practice deep reading everything will become impossible for you in solving the comprehension so the total thing which i want to tell you all is that you have to improve in your vocabulary you have to improve in your uh, reading skill and you have to be uh, very much interested in finding out passage and going through it and the atmosphere or the environment plays a very vital role again i would like to say to you all students because if you think that you don't like reading passages sit quiet sit in a lonely place and enjoy the reading portion because if you sit in a noisy place you will not be able to hear the words you will just be 
you are reading out, but you will not be able to understand the words of the comprehension. So sit in a lonely place, try to enjoy the passage. And the more you enjoy the passage, the more it becomes easy for you to solve the answers of the passage. This much for today, students. Okay, next year we'll start with another topic. So take care of yourself, enjoy good health. Miss you all, love you students. Bye.